We did adjust, and uh, you know, I think the team's getting better as a result of that. We didn't see the scrimmage uh, Saturday. What, what did you see from your offense there? Uh, well, it wasn't really a scrimmage, because uh -huh. you know, you, a scrimmage kind of implies tackling. And uh, we tried to uh, do some situational work, which I do believe we got better with. And uh, you know, we didn't turn the ball over, which I can't see much for this practice. We had two. Uh, so th that was good to go in the stadium and not turn it over. Are you making progress as far as your pace, the, the well-described pace that you want to play at? Or, or you feel like yeah, I do believe uh, we are headed in the right direction. You know, the kids, uh, uh, we, we are done now until we get to Virginia uh, preparation. We are done with new things. So now it's just uh, uh, rehashing the stuff we already have in. So uh, anytime you do that, uh, there's a, 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 notice, a noticeable shift to, to going fast. And we've, we've no longer, uh, we've pulled off of the, uh, the new stuff. So from here on. Till Wednesday, it's all stuff we've already done. How do you feel you're at as far as execution going into next week? Uh, you know, man, we're midway uh, through camp, and, and uh, you know, there are times when it looks really clean. It really does. And then, uh, you know, there are times when we get a bust here, and, and we get a bust there, we get a bad snap right in a critical deal. So uh, that aspect, you know, I hope that we continue to grow and get better with, but it's uh, far from perfect, I guess, if that was what you were asking. You had the two turnovers you mentioned, the bad snap, some penalties as well uh, that, that came into play today. Is that just that Monday effect, or is that something, you know, just guys trying to do That's too much? definitely a sign of, of players that uh, are not fully focused. I mean, those are, uh, those are the things that happen uh, when you're not focused. And we went in the stadium and did not have that. So, uh, you know, we got work to do to prepare our kids to, to come off a, a, a rest day and, and to come back and, and be ready to be focused. When you take the field at Virginia and, you know, the rest of the season, kids get amped up, you know, being in front of the fans with the speed. Do you worry about penalties at all or, or those type of concerns just because of the speed you're going at and then them trying to do too much or being too amped up? Uh, worried about penalties? No, I try not to coach with the worry about penalties. I, I try to uh, be like the players, get myself to go fast and to go hard. If we get a penalty, then uh, adjust to the situation and uh, give your best shot. Jamal looked look pretty good from what we saw today. Is he gradually progressing and, and continuing to improve? How yeah, he Jamal played, uh, you know, for a, a sophomore. He was one that showed up with really good focus today, and I'd like to, you know, c commend him. And and I think it it showed out there in the practice. Is your Co offensive line progressing as you'd like it to? Uh, there are are more steps forward than backward. There, there sure are. You're coming closer to kind of figure out your rotation of who will be in what situation. We are, we are, and you know that's really not going to play out. I think till we get to the end of that third game, and and. and you know, by then we'll have enough uh, body of work that we'll be able to determine who's really ready and, and, and who, ne who we need to kind of hold back with. But like I said, uh, they're, they're all new and it's uh, unfortunate. Well, sort of, but, but uh, with, with who we play the first three games, we're going to know exactly uh, how we stack up for the rest of the year at, at the beginning of the year because, you know, the opponents are really good. How many deep do you figure you need to be at that offensive line rotation? Oh, well, we're going to travel 10 guys. And uh, yeah, they'll all be able to play. Uh, we, might, uh, we might go a little more. But uh, generally speaking, we haven't even had that discussion. But you know, right off the bat, uh, 10 is the number you travel with. Has it been decided yet who of the offensive coaches will, will be in the box and who will be on the field yet? Uh, still a work in progress. But uh, right now we are training ourselves for Jason Beck to be in the box and uh, Guy Holiday to be in the box. And Jason's been the guy who's telling you, hey, this is the down and distance here all camp long. 
he's a guy who really understands the X's and O's of football, a nice guy to have in the box. Well, I think they're all really good coaches on the field or in the box. Uh, I think the way the, uh, uh, you know, the way the work group is, is headed right now, that's kind of the way we're going. The, the, from what you just said, does that mean you, you're going to call the plays from the field? Yes, I will call the plays from the field. Okay. Yes, absolutely. As far, as far as the quarterbacks go, uh, the, throughout camp, you and Coach Mendenhall have both been complimentary of both what Ammon Olson and Taysom Hill have done. Is it still just the, the same level, or are they both improving? Is, is there any narrowing between the two? Uh, they're both really capable. Uh, state, uh, Taysom is our starter. And uh, Ammon is our backup right now. They're, they're going one and two, and, and both doing a, a really good job with the offense. So Pleased with both of them. You don't foresee any possible changes with that. That's, that's pretty much solid as far as the... Uh, yeah, let me reiterate. Uh, Taysom is our starter, and uh, Ammon is uh, our number two quarterback. You mentioned a couple of guys that you've moved over from offense to defense. We saw Michael Davis was one of those guys, a speedster that you recruited to be a wide receiver. Yeah. Who else have you moved over there to defense? Uh, Eric Thornton. He was uh, playing our uh, an inside spot for us. And uh, we moved Eric over there. And, uh, you know, we've had to do some adjusting because he was on, on a, a, a pretty good path uh, on the offensive side. But the team need called for, for him to go there. And, you know, being a team guy, he just said, okay, sure, I'll do what the team needs. Is Eric going to play on offense at all, or is he set in stone at corner? Uh, you know, nothing's set in stone right now. Uh, because of our team need right now, he's been over on the defensive side of the football. Thanks, Coach.